March 8th is International Women's Day, but how did it come to be? Technically, the very first Women's Day was held by the Socialist Party of the United States in 1909. However, it is more prominently linked to the Second International Women's Conference in Copenhagen, Denmark of August 1910. There, Clara Zetkin, a German feminist, would become instrumental in establishing International Women's Day as a prominent celebration, the following year garnering over a million women celebrating worldwide. This holiday would have extreme prominence in Russia and then the Soviet Union, as the February Revolution was kicked off by striking Russian women on International Women's Day demanding peace and bread. Lenin then declared International Women's Day an official holiday after the October Revolution thanks to the urging of his Commissar of Social Welfare, Alexandra Kollontai, a feminist heavyweight in her own right. Lenin famously said, for under capitalism, the female half of the human race is doubly oppressed. The working woman and the peasant woman are oppressed by capital, but over and above that they remain in household bondage. They continue to be household slaves, for they are overburdened with the drudgery of the most squalid, backbreaking, and stultifying toil in the kitchen and the family household. From these origins, International Women's Day has only grown in prominence.